Uh, yeah, so my name's Ian uh, from Benawatu Zoological and we're a uh, wildlife rehabilitation centre, education centre um, here in Port Vila, Benawatu. These little guys here are basically uh, little baby hawk bill turtles. So what we're trying to achieve with these little guys is just trying to get more back out into the wild. Most are eaten in their first few days of life um, and we grow them on to eight to nine months of age, get them out to about dinner plate size, we then release them on the same beach where they were hatched. With the tourists coming to visit us, that's the only funding we get, um, and that pays for a bit of uh, fish food and also um, wages. So um, we're just out there trying to um, save some of the wildlife. The wildlife here does do it hard, just due to the villagers uh, living a simple lifestyle of hunting and gardening. As population increases, it puts more and more load onto the wildlife. So, so. And we just like people getting up and close and personal with little animals to get the appreciation of why they're so important to the environment. Um, produce uh, at least 50% 50, 50 of each. Um, this batch we've actually got 60 40, so which is good. So as they develop, they all develop their individual eyebrow colours, <laughs> the different Sorry. shell colours all individual little turtles and this is how they all end up with names believe it or not. Many years ago here you'd find big holes everywhere um, but they're just a bit gone. So the ones um, that are e eaten in the restaurant are coming from the outer island. Introduced from Fiji back in the 60s um, so they're not a native and they're not in competition for any food or territory um, for any native species so they're all welcome. Their wings are as soft as velvet and they get one hole in the wing um, and basically can't fly because when they're flying they use those wings as like a balloon sort of system. Yeah, it does regrow, but it takes some time. Traditionally, what happens is it'll get eaten before that regrows. Quickly move underneath its own power. So, yeah, basically, um, what happens is when they eat this, it um, there's a prickle right in the middle of that joint, and as they eat it, it gets stuck in their tongue. Their tongue swells up, and they can't digest anything. But um, there's also a few other larger predator fish in here as well, like GTs and, and other red fish and things. Yeah, it's a happy balance for the ecosystem. Let's see if we can get a few more. It's pretty hard to see the eels at this depth, though. Oh, get wet, Ashina. Oh. Just so you don't look wet in the photo. 